Thanks for your purchase. We value you as a customer and hope this video will help you use your new product safely and effectively. If you have questions or problems with your product, please do not return it to the store. Call 1-800-828-5500 in the U.S. or 1-800-668-1238 in Canada for technical support. Carefully remove the trimmer from the box. Refer to the fast assembly guide attached to the unit for quick setup instructions. Open the parts pack and remove the contents. The owner's manual also has more detailed instructions. Remove the shield screws and set them aside. Make sure that none of the captive nuts fall out of the shield. Hold the shield underneath the guard mounting bracket. Insert the screws through the bracket and tighten into the nuts in the shield. To add oil to a new engine, locate the oil bottle that came with the trimmer. Remove the cap and pry the protective seal off the bottle. Remove the cap from the spout and cut the tip off the spout. Then reinstall the cap on the oil bottle. Remove the oil fill plug. Insert the spout into the oil fill tube and slowly squeeze the bottle until all the contents of the bottle have been added to the engine. Verify the oil level is correct. The oil level should be just to the bottom of the oil fill plug threads. Replace the oil fill cap when the oil level is correct. You can save the empty bottle for future oil changes. Carefully add fresh, unleaded gasoline to the fuel tank. Do not overfill the fuel tank. Replace the fuel cap when finished. To connect the lower boom to the upper boom, loosen the Easy Link knob a few turns. Then remove the shipping tube from the Easy Link. Remove the shipping cap from the lower boom and insert the lower boom into the Easy Link until the locking button snaps into place. Tighten the Easy Link knob. Do not tighten the nut on the end of the Easy Link bolt. It's only used as a protective cap on the bolt. The Easy Link connector on this trimmer allows you to use several different lower boom attachments with the same power head. See your Troy Built retailer or the Troy Built website for more information about attachments. This trimmer is also electric start capable, so cordless and corded starters may be used to eliminate pulling the rope to start the engine. To start the engine, place the choke lever to position 1. Press the primer bulb 10 times. Pull the throttle trigger fully and hold it during starting. Pull the starter rope five times. Then move the choke lever to position two. While holding the trigger, pull the rope until the engine starts, or a maximum of five times. Warm up the engine with the choke lever in position two for 30 to 60 seconds. Then move the choke lever to position three for operation. If the engine does not start after five pulls, start over by pressing the primer bulb ten times and repeat the starting procedures. If the engine still does not start, it may be flooded. Refer to the owner's manual for additional procedures. To start a trimmer engine that is hot, move the choke lever to position two. Press the primer bulb ten times, pull the throttle trigger, pull the starter rope to start the engine, Run the unit in position 2 for 2 to 5 minutes. It's okay to use the trimmer with the choke in position 2 if it runs well. Then move the choke lever to position 3 for operation. If the engine runs poorly in position 3, return the lever to position 2. After a few minutes of use in position 2, 
and after the engine warms up, you should be able to move the lever to position 3 for maximum power. Feed the trimmer line by bumping the head on the ground. Do this only when the engine is running at maximum speed, wide open throttle. When cutting tall weeds or grass, taller than 8 inches, trim from the top down in multiple passes. This technique will allow the trimmer to perform best and reduce weed wrap. Clear weed wrap by removing debris from around the trimmer head. Refer to the manual for other trimming tips. To turn off the engine, press the on-off stop switch. Check the engine oil level before each use. It's very important to have the engine sitting level when checking the oil. Remove the lower boom or place the trimmer on a flat surface with the cutting head shield hanging off the end of the surface. Remove the oil fill plug. The proper oil fill level is when the oil is just touching the bottom of the threads in the oil fill hole. If needed, add a small amount of oil and recheck the level. Reinstall the oil fill plug when finished. To replace the trimmer line, locate the refill line pack included with your trimmer. If not using a refill pack line, use only .095 inch diameter round line. Cut a length of the line to 10.5 feet in length. Align the arrow on the cutting head knob to the eyelets. Insert the line through the eyelets. Pull the line through the head until equal amounts extend from both sides of the head. Wind the line in the direction of the arrow on the reel. Stop turning the head when about 5 inches of line extends from each side of the head. If the line fails to feed properly, or the old line cannot be removed from the head, the head may be disassembled. To disassemble the head, depress the tab on the side of the bump head while rotating the head cover clockwise as viewed from the bottom of the head. Gently pull the bump cap off the head and set aside. Remove the inner reel and cap. Remove all line or clear obstructions. Reassemble the head by aligning the arrow on the tab to the arrow on the cap. Press down on the cap to engage the outer reel and rotate counterclockwise until the cap locks into place. Wind the new line per line winding procedures. When an oil change is required, make sure the engine is warm so the oil will drain more completely. Remove the oil fill plug and quickly invert the engine to allow waste oil to drain into the container. Carefully rock the engine to help the oil drain completely. Clean up any oil residue on the engine and properly dispose of the used oil. Carefully measure and add the correct amount of new oil. Do not overfill. Verify that the oil level is correct. If you are using the old oil bottle as a measure, make sure you add the correct amount of oil to the bottle. Do not fill the bottle to the brim. The proper oil fill level is when the oil is just touching the bottom of the threads in the oil fill hole. If needed, add a small amount of oil and recheck the level. Reinstall the oil fill plug when finished. To clean the air filter, remove the filter housing cover. Clean any dirt out of the inside of the cover. Remove the foam filter and wash it in soapy water. Squeeze but do not wring water out of the filter. Thoroughly rinse the filter and allow it to air dry. Add a few drops of oil to the foam filter and lightly squeeze the filter to spread the oil.
reinstall the filter, and replace the filter cover. To replace the spark plug on this trimmer, use a screwdriver to remove the three screws securing the upper housing cover to the trimmer. Pry the spark plug wire from the spark plug. Use a spark plug socket to remove the spark plug. Do not attempt to clean the old spark plug. Install the new spark plug as specified in the manual. Attach the spark plug wire. Install the housing cover and secure it with the three screws removed earlier. Store the trimmer horizontally or with the engine facing up. Storing the trimmer with the engine down may cause oil to leak into the carburetor. Visit the Troy Built website for more information regarding attachments and accessories for your trimmer. Thanks for watching this video. Other videos are available to help you set up, operate, and maintain your Troy Built product.